So the problem we are trying to tackle is the problem of air pollution. In the world today, the World Health Organization estimates that 10% uh, that 10 of all recorded deaths are due to air pollutant related diseases. And while you think this problem may be unique to countries in Southeast Asia and cities such as Beijing, which have gotten a lot of press recently, the problem is uniquely Canadian as well. 21,000 Canadians died last year due to air pollutant related diseases. Albeit, we have one of the best air quality indexes in the world. Now, how is this possible? How are we able to have the highest air quality index, or the lowest air quality index in the world, yet so many deaths due to air pollution? That's because traditional methods of sensing air quality is by placing these large industrial gas sensors on the rooftops of buildings. These sensors do not properly uh, and accurately represent the data that you're breathing in every day on the side of the street. Say a big diesel truck passes by, you're getting a mouthful of nitrous oxide that is detrimental to your health due to chronic exposure. We have developed a new technology that we've called the Graphet. It's a graphene-based field effect transistor device that uh, that interacts with, uh, with gas molecules uh, by a dipole detection method. The real innovation behind this project is twofold. The first one is that uh, the aerosol deposition method as well as the graphene synthesis method is uniquely cheap and it, and it works. Um, <clears throat> the, second method, uh, the second innovation is by doping the graphene, that to say introduce uh, minute impurities, one in a million of the carbon atoms are replaced with say sulfur or nitrogen or boron. This greatly increases the ability for the graphene to detect specific gases. We're here we are the first, uh, we are one of the first groups to show that by doping with sulfur we are able to increase the specificity by up to 85 percent. This is great since in one of our devices we can fit six devices. We could fit a sulfur doped graphene which is specific to carbon monoxide. We could fit a nitrogen doped graphene which is specific to nitrous oxide, so on and so forth. By creating this array of sensors in such a small area, the size of a high definition television pixel, uh, we could fit this device into smartphones or wearable electronics. This is also a uniquely low power device, so it could use onboard electronics of current smartphones, Fitbits, electronics such as that, uh, to accurately and accurately monitor air quality data. Since, everyone, since all of these devices already have a GPS built into them, these devices could communicate with each other to, uh, to create a network of this air quality data, creating meaningful air quality maps that are dynamic and high resolution. This information could be used by policymakers and governments to increase the awareness of air pollution and help pinpoint the root causes and find a solution.